what's going on everybody hopefully your weekend's going well as you can see i still uh, doing this video right before i do the uh 4k giveaway but uh, that's why the stuff's still on the screen so what i want to talk is about this raw card review that's going on now now let's start with the first part of it all you got beckett all right let me get this little display thing up here so this is beckett's raw card review it's mostly done at shows um, and it's where you could take your raw cards, you pay X amount of dollars, and they'll tell you, hey, this should get a 9, 5, or 10 on it. I can tell you from experience, probably 99% of the time, that's the grade you're going to get. Very few times have I ever seen one of these come back and not get the grade that's on there. So, it's a good idea for Beckett to do something like this, because it, it, the idea behind it was it would eliminate a lot of people setting in stuff that wouldn't grade well. At the same time frame, it also carries a little bit of a premium onto it because it's semi-graded and you still would have to go spend X amount of dollars to get the thing graded and all that. Now, let's take a look at this here. Beckett gives you a grade, gives you a serial number for this that matches up with it. And I can tell you now that you've got all this stuff here that's on this case that you can't just like peel this off and put it onto another... Um, uh, card it, it would be very very hard to do this stuff has been embedded on there and it, it lasts a duration Okay So that was Beckett's thing that they did when they started out Great idea on to like I said for shows and stuff like that because I seen guys and This was during Connor McDavid's rookie year for hockey They just wanted tens and dudes were taking 30 40 cards up there, and they just wanted the tens because, of course, they're trying to black label and hopes of stuff like that there because you don't know the subgrades on this. Then guys would go around selling the nines, nine fives of dealers dirt cheap because I picked some up that way, nine fives. I even had one nine five come back a ten. It was amazing. So it made sense. Recently, I got an email from somebody uh, uh, from that's a subscriber to the channel that I've known for a while and everything like that. And he's like, man, you got to check this out. So NBA is Mike Baker authenticated. Everybody knows it's that little diamond sticker they put on the grading cards where you grade the grader, and it's supposed to increase value. Take it however you want to be on. To, to me, it's just one of those other systems that are out there to where it's spend money and you're supposed to be able to make money, blah, 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 and all that. But... Let me show you what he sent me. And no fault at all for the guy that sold this card. I mean, props to him. Because I would do the same thing on to it. So this is it right here. This Justin Herbert came back a 10. Uh, you can only... And I'll go into this further because I have what he posted up uh, on Facebook on to it so you guys can see. But Gem Mint 10. I don't see a serial number on that right there. So here's the back of the card. No serial number. It's just a sticker that goes over the top. It doesn't even fold over it. My piece of this off the bat is I got the idea behind it. I think it's very cheaply made to where this sticker could probably be pulled off. It might be able to be replicated too. I have no idea with all the technology out there. But there's no real stopping somebody from doing it on this versus those Beckett ones. Grant, I'm sure you could do forge the Beckett ones and stuff like that too out there. But by looking at this, I just I'm I would not have my own personal stuff done with this that pay what they're asking just to give me a grade on something that I could do myself. Grant, if you're new to the hobby and stuff like that, you might do something like this until you learn. You know, on to it. The best thing to do is to look cards over yourself. Go very, very slowly. After about five cards or so that you've done, take a couple minute break, let your eyes refocus, and just keep going on that way with it. I mean, you don't have to buy a microscope. You can get a 10X. 10X is what they use to look at these cards. Um, magnifying glass, uh, jeweler loop, whatever you want to do. And one piece of advice I will say, if you're using a higher magnification, just note that when you use it, that grader probably won't see the same thing you do. So what I do is I find them on that 20 times uh, magnification. I hold the card back. Okay, can I see this with my naked eye? And is it very noticeable to where a grader is going to like bing right there? That That's my thought process on it. 
But with this MBA on to it, <clears throat> I just I'm not a fan of it just because of the, what the label looks like and stuff and how it's wrapped on there. I don't personally own one. I don't know how foily the sticker is to where you try to peel it off if you could actually get it off very well, unlike the Beckett, which I know would be the most painful thing to try to get off, versus this. A same time frame, there's no serial number on to it, no nothing that, you know, helps identify that. Which, again, granted, I mean, people can look up in pop reports serial numbers and do all that stuff, too. But there's a lot of room on this to where I'm just not a fan of it. All right, let me pull up the Facebook thing. So, this is what it is here. I think it's one more back. Nope, starts here. So, they announced this back in May about this. And I've heard about it. I just never really seen much on to it. Their idea was NBA Raw Card Review. The market, they say, currently lacks utility for submitting a raw card value between $10 and $500 to be reviewed and re awarded a numerical grade based on its condition. Well, we saw the raw card review. They start off with letters, and I think now they're doing numbers too. So there are places out there you guys can use with experienced people who do group subs. I mean, like I said, I know two of the people's names that are on that raw card review that do that stuff. But let's move on to here. Uh, NBA will review cards from 2000 to present. One of the catches, they got to be standard size, 100 point or under, so you can't send your thick cards in and all that stuff. 100 points tops. After a 10-point inspection of the card, it may receive a grade of a 9-mint or a 10-gem mint. Cards failing to meet the NBA standards of the 9 and 10 grade will receive a report card with details from the inspection, but will not receive a numerical grade. So I guess they're being transparent onto that in a way. And this has been going on since May. So... They've been doing it for a while. If you don't get a 9 or 10, you get a report card on to it. tells you why. Kind of a good idea. I'd like to see it with all of them across the board. $20 a card. You can get 8 of them done for $100 or 50 for... Wow, 50 raw card reviews for $500. Wow, that's kind of crazy. I wonder how long that bulk takes to do on those. I just caught that because I, I only knew the single and raw. I never read the one underneath it. And then, of course, here's the picture of Zion and stuff like that on to there getting a 10. I mean, when you look at it, no way does a Herbert base sell for that amount of money right here. Props to the guy who did this and probably had to wait a while to do it and everything, but it did add some value to the card. I'm not going to lie. But you still would have to go out and get it graded by another company. My thing is, go back to the prices. $20 a card. This one here comes down to being, I don't even know, like, I don't know, $17.50-ish a card. The bulk one of 50 is $10 a card, basically, which is kind of cool. I mean, if you had that many cards and you were unsure as a new person, you tried to, like, label out all the cards of what you think grades are and let somebody else do it. It would be an ex inexpensive way of doing it. But like I said, with the sticker onto it and not overlapping on the top of it, not having a serial number with that wording like Beckett has on the back of it, it kind of makes me iffy on the sticker going on to it. It really does. Um, I've, I've seen people who've said to me when I found out about this a couple days ago, called it, you know, a lazy man's way of doing this stuff to make some money to calling it cheap and stuff like that there. All valid points across the board because everybody's going to look at in their own opinion and perspective onto it. Um, you know, I, I, if Beckett offered it for this kind of price, I, I would be all over it. I, I would not lie. 50 cards for $500, I would be all over it. I really would. Uh, especially with some of the Cards that are always questionable down the road to where, say, that card is valued. I'd have to send a 250 per card. Spending 10 bucks or 15 bucks or 20 bucks on it would make sense to me.
But this is like cards value between ten and five hundred dollars. I just I don't know. It just doesn't all sit right with me when I read it all. If any of you guys have used it, please let me know in the comments section because I'm kind of curious on to it, what your experience is with it. Um, if it was anything other than a raw card between ten and five hundred, you could send anything into it. I could see where it would help you long run from not spending big money on it. But it's not guaranteeing you that grade with that company either. I don't know how well that would transfer over either. And that's where I'm looking to see if anybody's done this and then sent something off somewhere to be graded with what company and seeing how close those grades are. So if anybody has, let me know. I wanted to talk about this briefly on to it. I probably, for one, would not use it just off of what I read. Uh, I mean, a $500 raw card, if it would PSA 10, we're just going to say triples the price to $1,500. I spend $20, and then I'm going to have to spend probably $200 on grading, and then what I got in the card, eh, it could be worth it. I mean, in some ways, when you're looking at logistically from a money spec, uh, perspective, but I don't know how well those grades cross over either. I, I really don't. All right, everybody, figured I'd touch about this real quick in case they, nobody's heard of it or they, they've done it. I want to see how well they've crossed over, how well some of their predictions were on to it. I know a lot of people are now starting to use Mike Baker, especially authenticated for um, their slabs, because you'll see the diamonds going around with the little certificate and stuff with it. Just, just curious offhand what people's thoughts are on to it, besides my own to see if maybe I'm missing something. Somebody makes a different, you know, observation that might, you know, where I could change my thought process basically on to it. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. Catch y'all later.